Hey everyone, these are a pair of computer speakers I fixed. Was it worth it? Uh, I don't think so. You can still buy these new. Anyway, that's not the subject for today's video. All kidding aside, this is this is the subject for today's video. Uh, you might remember this vi from a video from l about last year. And I did an aw- well, I don't know if I'd call it an autopsy, but... Yeah, where I took it apart and figured out what was wrong. Well, today I want to see if I can try to fix it. it was, I looked, it was just a capacitor. I actually had to reference the video. And, uh, yeah, what this is, is uh, it's a Dura brand. They, they, they probably advertise it at be, as being a uh, 5.1 system, but if I zoom in here, you can see that the, you know, you can see that it's just a, uh, standard like there's no surround sound inputs so they're just duplicating the front speakers with the rear you can see that there so yeah let's get into if you want to know what was wrong with this you can uh, look back at the uh, previous video that I had on this um, now do keep in mind it's an older video so it might not be as good or it may just be as good and I'm not improving my video skills but I can definitely tell I've been in here before the screws aren't uh, they're not breaking free like they usually do on something that's never been apart before you know you know what if you've ever taken something apart you know exactly what I mean are we ready three two one oh I missed one hold on there we go. Now, now it comes off. Uh, what are we stuck on here? I can't. I think I see what we're stuck on. Something down here. Feels like the power cord. I'll get this. So I forgot to show it in the last video, and I don't know if the light's going to be on our side for this shot, but. The capacitor in question is a 4700 microfarad and 25 volts. And, uh, sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Um, the capacitor is a 4700 at 25 volts. Now, instead of ordering a new part, since I don't want to spend really any money on this, um, I'd like to dig around my pile of junk to see if I can find something to get capacitors from. I know it's not going to be exactly on value, but it's definitely going to be something close to where it'll probably work. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, unfortunately, well, uh, I'd say, actually, I don't know if they're in parallel or not. So, yeah, it's uh, one capacitor there. There's two of them, I think. Let's see if it'll focus here a little bit. Alright, so guys, here, here's our capacitor. It's a, uh, I guess that would be, say, oh, is it going to focus for us? I don't think so. Um, yeah, there, there we go. It's a KDC, I've never heard of that brand. It's a uh, 4700 at, gee, shaky today, huh? 4700 at 25 volt. It's the capacitor that I need to find, or something close to it, I guess, I assume, because... It's not all that bad, but it's definitely a little bloated. It's a little more puffed up than the other one that's in there. Alright, so let's go shopping for some capacitors. First, we've got this uh, Direct TV box. I don't think this will have anything that big in it. It's just, uh, there's no power supply in that. Usually power supplies have big capacitors. Here's a computer power supply with capacitors that are probably too big. Take a look though. Hmm. I can't tell what value these are. Hold on, let me stop the key. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Here's a uh, another power supply. Here's a capacitor. What's this? Let's see if I can. Well, I can't tell what value that is. What are these? 25 working voltages. 
1,000. Uh, it's not big enough. Let me take a look at what this one is. Well, I guess that answers that question. It's only a 120 at it's only a 120 microfarad, but it's 400 volts. It's technically way bigger than we need. Um, running out of stuff here, huh? All right, here's the bottom of that uh, that power supply that I was just showing. Uh, you can see why I stopped using it. It got so hot it started melting the casing, and it looks like the camera battery is dead. So I'm gonna have to charge that. There's some stuff in this box here, but I don't think laptop motherboards are going to have big enough capacitors. Uh, here's a uh, CFL light bulb that I wrote bad on. We could take a look and see what's in this. And I can crack those open pretty easy. Laptop charger. Batteries, light bulbs, not much. So we're outside, and what I do is I just squeeze this until it pops. I think it'll pop open. I don't think I'm gonna get it on video because the camera back I'm still running the camera battery so low. So we'll be back once I get it. Okay, and that's why we do this outside. Honestly, I think for some reason I feel like this bulb cracked. For some reason I feel like it cracked before, so. And you can, yeah, I think it cracked because this went out without much noise. I don't think it was under vacuum. I think it was already cracked before. No. Focus, you idiot. Yeah, it's not focusing. And you can see there, it's uh, way, way, way smaller than we need. So that's not going to well, as it turns out, I don't have any uh, I don't have any capacitors to use in this. All my capacitors are either the right value, or the and the wrong working voltage, or the wrong right working voltage, or the and the wrong value. So I might or might not upload this. Uh, if you do see it, thanks for watching, and uh, more to come later. Hopefully, better things to come later.